Hello there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King and, and today I am back with another review. And today we will be taking a look at the new Schleich 2017 Conquering the Land Stegosaurus. Now, Stegosaurus, which name means roof lizard, is a genus of Stegosaur that lived in the late Jurassic period around 155 to 150 million years ago in the western United States and Portugal. Now, three species are known, Stegosaurus stenops, which is the type species, and which I believe this model is based off of, was around seven meters long and about five tons in weight. There's Stegosaurus ungulatus, which is around nine meters, and is the largest species, and Stegosaurus sulcatus, which was around seven meters long. And now, in the Morrison Formation, where most of the specimens of Stegosaurus are found, lived alongside many predators, including Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Torvosaurus, Saurophaganax, Ornitholestes, Martiosaurus, Stokesosaurus, Coelurus, and Tanicolagrius, as well as sauropods Brachiosaurus, Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, Camarasaurus, and Barosaurus, and the Ornithischians, Camptosaurus, Dryosaurus, and the Ankylosaur, Gargoyleosaurus. Now, Many of you might find this review a bit surprising, as I haven't actually mentioned at all that I had picked this guy up, but uh, well, at Toys R Us where I work uh, last week, we got in a lot of the new 2017 Schleich models, including this, this Stegosaurus, the new Brachiosaurus, the new Utoraptor, and the new Allosaurus. And out of all of them, the Stegosaurus was the one that I was mainly looking forward to as well. I just think it's a really, really nicely done figure. And actually, I think it's a lot better than the other one. But it does still have some flaws. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a closer look at this model. So let's start off with the head sculpt. Now, as we all know, Stegosaur heads were quite small. Unfortunately, Schleich here appear to have done this a little bit too big. However, it does have some very nice detail. All the nice scale detail that goes around. You see we've got the eye there and the eye on that side. Just have the beak. Now there are some nostrils. There's I think there's one clearly above there, but they're very hard to see. The inside of the mouth is not as well detailed, but the tongue is pink, as you can see in there. But it has got a very, very nicely done head sculpt, even if it is a little large. And the feet do look to be correct, as it has five toes on the front foot and three toes on the back. And one of the feet, one of the um, front feet is raised. Looks like it's in like, um, a defensive pose. And then going down we have much more of this beautiful scale detail and all these wrinkles which I think look really, really nice. And then of course we have that iconic tail with a Thagomizer on the end. It's a great name, Thagomizer. <laughs> so we've got all the four spikes which are in the correct position. And we have these really nicely done plates. Let's turn it that way. Now, as you can see, they all have these veins showing up which probably wouldn't have shown in life as most of these would probably have been covered in keratin and may have also been flushed with, br with blood either for sexual display or to warn off predators. But the detail of the veins is actually quite nice and it does actually look like you know roots or a leaf. And they are arranged how you would think they would they would be arranged although these may change uh, with new evidence, but they look to be in the correct position. I do love all the muscle contortion as well. You can see that this foot here, you can see all the skin has been pulled forward. Got the muscle contortion there. I do love the pose. The pose is, is, a, is what is really, really awesome about this figure. It looks like it's probably in a defensive position. Maybe an Allosaurus is trying to attack it. Uh, it's just a really, really awesome pose. Very, very active. Uh, there is no cloaca, but it will be around here, near the base of the tail. Then we've got the Schleich logo underneath. And we've got like a little bit of a, a neck wattle there, with like all the skin contortion. There is no, none of the armour which would have been present here underneath the neck, but that can be forgiven. Now the coloration is 
quite bland, you could say. It's more or less like yellows and light browns. But I think it's quite an effective colour scheme. I think it, it does work. It could have been, the colour scheme could have been better, but I like it for what it is. I mean, yes, it's not the best Stegosaurus model ever, but I like it because well, the pose looks awesome and well, the colours could have been improved. It's still nice and the scale detail is also very, very good. And I think it's a little bit more accurate than, than most other Schleich Stegosaurs that I've seen. And for comparison, here is the 2012 version. I mean, their, their, the 2012 version's head is actually much smaller, as you can see. Much, much smaller and thinner. However, the 2012 one does have a few inaccuracies. For example, the plates are a bit too small and the, the Thagomizer is way, way too small. I mean, just, just look at that. Way, way too small. But it's still a nice figure, nice retro figure. And then here is the 2015 Kentrosaurus by Schleich. And this is one of my favorite Schleich figures of all time. And as you, as you can see, their, pose, their poses are very similar. Which is actually pretty awesome. Maybe they're roaring at each other, you know, showing off who's boss. <laughs> But I am looking forward to the new uh, re-sculpt of the Kentrosaurus coming out this summer. So do look out for that. Uh, so yeah, so while it might not be the best Stegosaurus, I like it for what it is. I think it's a really nicely detailed figure, great pose, uh, great scale and uh, skin detail. Just a really, really nice figure. So um, I hope you like this, this review, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe about the good stuff. Um, my next review will uh, probably be on the Safari Limited Croc Tube that I have recently ordered. Um, unfortunately, it was supposed to be delivered in the mail today, but nobody was around to get it, so I'm going to have to pick it up tomorrow, <laughs> and then hopefully I can review it um, the day afterwards. And for those asking if I'm going to be seeing Kong, I am going to be seeing Kong. I cannot wait to see it. Um, I might be seeing it this Sunday. And I'm super, super excited. Can't wait to see it. So, um, yeah, so I just hope to see you guys in the next video. So please take care and have a great day. Bye.